Hello, Middleton Cross Plains Area School District, and welcome once again to this month's edition of In Review. I'm Caleb. And I'm Chloe. <laughs> and we hope you'll stick around to find out what's new in your community. To start us off, five district recipients of the 2015 Herb Cole Foundation Awards were honored at a banquet at Monona Grove High School on Sunday, April 19th. They received $3,000 in addition to a grant of the same amount going to the individual's respective schools. The program has been around since 1990, and staff members Tim Ash and Jolene Wyschensky, along with students Danae Brown, Shelby Noble, and Andrew Plum, have been fortunate enough to receive such an award. Discussing more about the award is Jolene Wyschensky, who was kind enough to meet with us for an interview. I was informed that I was nominated for a Herb Cole Fellow through the mail, and when I opened the letter, I got very excited because it informed me that I was nominated for this honor but it also included the nomination of the parent and the student that had nominated me, so I was able to read their words, and it was super exciting. This is something like the Oscars for a teacher, and to just be nominated is a pretty awesome thing. Um, the money that I'm receiving with this, I would like to use it for technology in our classroom, but I have so many options that I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it, but I'd like to give it back to the kids because they're the reason why I have the honor and I have the money and the grant. Um, and I'm just super excited to share it with Middleton High School and Cromery Middle School together through our German program and to give back to our kids. And it's super exciting. Thanks. Our next story is also made possible through grant funding and that is Elm Lawn's recent music programs. A live salsa band was able to perform during Elm Lawn's Family Fun Night. Additionally, the UW World Percussion Ensemble performed for and with Elm Lawn students. The UW group played music from Brazil and other parts of the world. Each student had the opportunity to design a percussion instrument of their choice to play with the UW group. Together, they created one of the largest percussion ensembles in the area. Way to go! Both events were made possible by a district global initiative grant along with organization by Elm Lawn music teacher John Becker. A concert was held in the Performing Arts Center in honor of Rod Peanuts Esser. The performance was celebrating his 50 years working for Park Elementary and featured Maggie May, Peanuts' favorite artist. Let's have a look at what people have to say at the concert. Hey, we're here um, at Peanuts' big event celebrating 50 years. The crowd is big, people are eating, enjoying. We're all getting to see uh, Maggie May and introducing ourselves to her. And Peanuts is so thrilled to be here. So we are excited after two years of talking about this event that we're finally here. So yay, we can't wait. We're looking forward to seeing the show. Hi. <laughs> We're the Murphys. We're really happy to be here to support Mr. Peanuts and Park School. Thanks yeah. for having us. This is going to be an awesome event. Yeah, Maggie right. May. We're here to help Peanuts celebrate his tenure at the school district for over 50 years. Our Optimist Club is involved because we're friends of youth, and uh, Peanuts always treated the kids good down at Park School. He's, it's where he's been most of the time. And we're really proud of uh, Peanuts. He's a great member of our community and uh, we wish him well at his next, next venture. I couldn't be happier at this moment, and uh, I'm just so glad for the turnout and so proud that I had ha have these people in my life. Hi, I'm Maggie May, and thanks everybody for coming tonight. Look at the turnout we had for our wonderful friend, Peanuts Esser. And uh, Peanuts, thank you so much for having us here at the Middleton Cross Plains Area School District. And we're going to have a wonderful night tonight with some good old country music with Maggie May and the Heartland Country Band. And uh, hey, what are we using the proceeds for? The proceeds are going for our kids. This is giving back to the kids, and this is for the Education Foundation. And uh, uh, hopefully, Hopefully we can have a repeat performance again, and I'm looking forward to that, so. Well, we're looking forward to a busy night. Peanuts, before we go, we better give them a big yeehaw and then a yodel. How's that we sound? We did that already. Well, let's do it again. Yeehaw! Yee yee See you later. 
It was another successful year for Relay for Life, a 12-hour event sponsored by MHS Key Club and the American Cancer Society that raises awareness and funds for cancer research. This year was the third Relay for Life at Middleton High School, and the theme was superheroes. While the city sleeps, we fight cancer. Over 150 students on 28 teams participated and walked throughout the night on the indoor track in the field house. The event kicked off at 6 o'clock p.m. with a moving first lap by all the cancer survivors. After that, the night began with fun theme laps like Superman relays, Batmobile relays, the Flash lap, and many more. There were also sports tournaments throughout the overnight hours. The most moving part of the night was definitely the Luminaria lap, where the only lights that are illuminated are the Luminarias in honor and in memory of loved ones who have had cancer. During this time, a former MCPASD teacher spoke out about her journey with two types of cancer, and then every name on the Luminarias were read. It gave participants a time to reflect on the reason they fight back against cancer. As the night continued, everyone had a great time continuing to walk, participate in games, and hang out. In the end, participants raised over $24,000. In the past three years, they've raised almost $100,000 for the American Cancer Society. Want to check out photos from the night? Check out the link down below. Cancer never sleeps, so neither do we. We hope you join us next year for Relay for Life on April 16th through 17th, 2016. Ooh. MHS Band Director Brad Schneider received the prestigious Crystal Apple Award from WMTV Channel 15. Five awards are given annually to each te to area teachers who inspired their students to greatness. The Crystal Apple Awards are in their 20th year and Schneider is retiring from 29 years of working in the district and 38 years in teaching after the school year. More than 400 Glacier Creek students participated in an outdoor assembly at the school's amphitheater on Friday, March 20th to celebrate raising more than $5,100 for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The physical education staff coordinated the Pennies for Patients Challenge. The money was also raised to support Associate Principal Rick Kisting, who is honored at the event and is healthy and in remission. Also, a quick announcement to all those who drive through Cross Plains. We want to remind you that regardless of the construction, the local businesses are open. Signs around the construction sites will be providing directions for those wanting to visit these businesses. Finally, we would like to acknowledge the 100 or so National Honor Society students from Middleton High School who stopped by Elm Lawn in March. These students took time to read to fourth graders and discuss joint writing projects. NHS advisor Jessica Pellegrino said it was the largest group she had taken to a school for this project. Well, that will be about it for us. Make sure to stay Middleton Mighty and Cross Plains Classy. Bye! Bye.